Okay, good luck with it. I could listen to Jane McDonald talk about gravy all day. I oh, me too. Oh, one yeah. more time. Yeah, Just give me one more gravy, Jane. Gravy. 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 Very fabulous. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why is that so funny? Uh, you want, do you want to come and join us for cookery? Come on over. Yeah, shall yeah, I? Come on over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, come my seat. Over. We can't have you over there. Yeah, you can't have my food, but you can have my seat. Oh, no, no, when these potatoes cooking. Jump there. there we you go. sit there. You sit there. there. You sit there. I'll, I'll, I'll come around this way. Oh, there we go. Oh, um, so professional. Oh, yeah, hello, my lovely. Oh, very well done. Very good to see you. Very good to see you. It's not gravy though, Jane, but it is something really, really delicious because Nisha can tell us the kitchen with a delicious recipe. And Nisha, the smell has been wafting over. All morning, gorgeous. Good smells. Go? Good smells. I have a little chicken thigh for Ooh. you. Do you want to? Do you want to tuck in, or we not? Yeah. I don't know if you've yeah. got enough cutlery. But Listen, you don't. In this out. business, you Here don't know go. when you're going to oh. eat. <laughs> you know, Allow so. me, Jane. Thank you. We don't want you getting gravy on you, Jane. No, okay. I'm already covered in gravy. <laughs> I've not Lovely. got a knife, but I've got a fork and a spoon. But at least you can tuck in and sort yeah. of join oh, in. Thank yeah. you, in Nisha. Terms of, so, and Nisha's amazing. Uh, these are my best friends, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm having my mum here, isn't it? Yeah. We are sticky thighing today. Ooh. So it's, it's sticky spice thighs and a really lovely coleslaw. And I'm going to start with the coleslaw because I've got a little, a little tip that makes coleslaw next level. Ah. And it is fried mustard seeds. So I'm going to just start by a little bit of olive oil in a pan and we go in with a good, say, half tablespoon Oi. of mustard seeds. And they I'm do bent. splutter quite a bit, but you I'm going to share them my cold slow with Jane. You start yeah. tucking in while I talk. Where do you want it? There. So this is healthy sticky thighs. Oh, oh, it's so healthy. But honestly, in terms of fat levels, there's not a lot in there. Really? Um, you, we, we're starting with some sweet ingredients. So there's some, there's some honey in there and there is tomato ketchup mm. um, and things like that. So there's sweetness, mm -hmm. but actually in terms of fat, they're not. They're grilled as well. Nice. Am I saying all the right things? Yes, you are. Mm. Are you and Jane from the same place? Are you? Yeah, we sound the same, don't but we? But I tell yeah. you, I'm Ormskirk. Oh, yeah? Lancashire lass. And Where are Wakefield. you? Wakefield. Wakefield. OK, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Mm. We're north. It's outside That's the it. M25. North is north. Is north, it? <laughs> north is north. <laughs> it yeah. is, love you. <laughs> so, coleslaw to start with. Do you like the chicken? It is beautiful. I'm getting God, in there. Like it. Coleslaw, red cabbage sliced. Red cabbage is lovely because it's not quite as sweet as, as the white cabbage that you cook, weirdly enough. In go my mm. the oil and my mustard seeds. And then we are going to create a dressing. So red cabbage, I also love a bit of red onion in coleslaw. That's optional. Mm. Some people don't like that. Coriander leaf because we're making almost that kind of Indian, Cambodian coleslaw. Mm. So crunchy and delicious. And a little bit of red mm. chilli. The other thing that gives you a lovely pop of sweetness in coleslaw is a handful of raisins or chopped apricots or chopped dates or figs, anything like that. Those snacking fruits that have been dried down, chopped, are stunning in a coleslaw. The dressing. Mm. We have got um, so just olive oil. Mm. We have got white wine vinegar. These are all just sort of kind of store cupboard. A bit of salt. Now, this is an interesting ingredient. This is date molasses. Has anybody come across that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They are great. You can get them in supermarkets now. So this was one of the earliest forms in humankind of sweetening food. Mm. Honey and date molasses with the way we did it before we had sugar. Delicious on porridge. And delicious yeah. on porridge. Yeah. And, and, and it just feels healthy, doesn't mm. it? Mm. And you can get really good ones in international supermarkets, can't yeah. you? There's a lot to be said for doing that. Yeah. If you could yeah, get into those international supermarkets, they're a complete treasure trove yeah. of fantastic ingredients. OK, so there, the flavours you're getting from that coleslaw are those ingredients. If I give that a quick toss together and then we get into the... The chicken zone. Mm. This is how we actually eat, Jane. Is we, it? We, yeah, we have our lunch yeah. here on telly. Yeah. That's good, oh, yeah. isn't it? Really? Get fed it's everything. worth coming just to get fed, yeah. isn't it? And you get a great run of the day. You get it in early, you get a great run of the day. Love this. Yeah. Fabulous. So, when you... What I love about this recipe is it's really... It is, ste it is store cupboard. You know, ketchup is not... We don't think of using ketchup in cooking, but whenever you want that kind of barbecue sweet glossiness that you've got on that chicken, Ketchup is the way forward. So we start with a good bit of ketchup because a lot of the muscle work has been done in the creation of that ketchup mm. with the vinegars and the salts and the sweet and all of that. So you've already got that good layer of flavour. I add to this tomato puree to give me a little bit of a kind of more mature flavour to the sweetness and to that tang. Into that we go honey mm. because we want sticky and we want sweet. We go to balance that lemon juice. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> Garlic, because why would you not? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Why would you not? Because it really makes it makes those barbecue dressings really sing. So mm. garlic is a great thing to add to that. Now here's where we get a little bit more interesting and this recipe is something, I went to Cambodia and the street food there and in Laos is, it's based on this kind of recipe, it is so, to die mm. for. And the things that give it that kind of hum, I'm using fenugreek powder. You don't have to if you can't get it, but honestly, that smell that you get when you walk into the studio mm. comes directly from fenugreek powder. So they say about 80% right. of that is on your nose. You're getting that real bouquet of uh, exotic aroma. Then we go garam masala mm. or cumin powder. Those kind of brown powders that you don't quite know what you're going to use them for in the back of the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> fish them out, honestly, fish them out and get them in. So a good bit of garam masala or cumin powder or coriander How powder. How long do they last for if you have a jar in the, in the, in the cupboard? It's so funny, because according to, you know, in Western culture, they say, oh no, they go off, get rid nonsense in india we carry them around forever they just lose potency ah. so use more if it's been there for a while just use more of it you don't bin these things we are not food wasters and a little bit of paprika powder so that's not hot um so yeah they don't go off so fret not do you know what? i'm glad you've said that because i've heard that so yeah. many yeah. times right? you know and sell by mm. date why do they put a sell like why are you putting a sell by date on if it doesn't go off. That's the point, That's isn't it? Now. There you go. It's not yeah. fair, is it? Mm -hmm. No. It's not. Now, in terms of food waste, we've got to just be so careful. I think coming out of Christmas, the thing that's the, what struck me most is the amount of food yeah. that's mm. just left yep. uneaten. Those Christmas cakes mm. that I've been given that, you know, I'll be eating them in, you know, 2040, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> and, and there's a lot to be said for getting a bit more realistic about use by, sell by, but spices we shouldn't be chucking away. So we marinate those. They go on a tray, ideally skin side up, and then all you're going to do is grill them and you end up with this oh, wow. happy place. Oh, lovely. It's the most delicious chicken I've ever eaten. I'm not kidding you. Mm. Kidding? It is so delicious, isn't it? Look at that, it's inhaling. I know, it. and yeah. I'm not even using cutlery. I'm going hands in. <laughs> That's amazing. You're so ladylike. Come on. I'm trying my best. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Did you enjoy that, Jane? Mm. Yeah, oh, sorry, I've just asked oh. you when you're doing mm. a mouthful. Oh. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Um, mm. Lovely. Now, uh, thank you, Nisha. The pleasure. Beautiful. Lovely to cook for you. Um, for details of today's recipe, you can scan the QR code on your screen right now, which will take you straight to the free this morning app. Mm.